Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and today we are talking shortcut skincare. These are products that save you time and money by doubling up on benefits and eliminating multiple steps from your skincare routine. Think two-in-one products. Think double duty products, triple duty products, quadruple duty products. I have it all in today's video. So whether you're short on time, money, or you're just not wanting really long and elaborate skincare routines, there's something in this video for you. If you're so ready to find out all the products I recommend for shortcut skincare, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. So let's start with the all-in-one product. Now, all-in-one skincare used to be incredibly popular in K-Beauty about 10-ish years ago. Um, they have fallen out of popularity, which is a real shame because there used to be a lot more choices on the market. And these products really do promise to bring it all to you in one product. All that being said though, you know, shout out to Farmstay and Mizan that still create all-in-one products that you can buy today. But we definitely do have to honor the enduring popularity of Cosrx Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. So this really, this product's been around for a long time and it really is a great embodiment of the all-in-one philosophy. This is a product that very possibly you could replace your toner, essence, serum, eye cream, and and potentially moisturizer all in one product. And when you think about all in one, you really need to break down those types of claims, right? What are you seeking for in your skincare routine? Because when it comes to toners and essences, you know, really the biggest difference here, toners really hydrate your skin and replenish it. Essences might bring hydration to your skin, but they're also gonna bring some additional benefits like brightening or well aging. And so when we look at the ingredients list here, we see the hydrating ingredients, right? We, of course we have snail really beautiful hydrating ingredient. If you've ever used any snail product, not just this one, but like any snail product, you know that it really dives in deep. It really hydrates your skin and kind of plumps it up, makes it really juicy. Oh, I love that sensation. Snail absolutely brings that, but we see some other, you know, humectant ingredients on the list here as well. But of course, you know, with essences and even serums, which are even more highly concentrated, we're looking for more benefits than just hydration and plumping, right? And that is definitely something snail can deliver on. It is a really beautiful healing ingredient with wonderful wound healing abilities. It's anti inflammatory and antibacterial. So if you're suffering with breakouts, it's a really great gentle ingredient to use to help soothe those breakouts and help to facilitate the healing process. It's a really great ingredient for irritated or itchy skin. The anti-inflammation and, and soothing benefit is very strong here, but it's also a fantastic choice for anti-aging concerns as well, because it does help to stimulate collagen and elastin on the skin, which helps with our well aging goals. And it can also help to protect your skin from photo damage and help reverse some of that photo damage too, which are, you know, signs of aging on the skin. Snail is also a fantastic antioxidant. So I'm just listing off all the amazing benefits of snail, which is definitely something that you might look for these types of benefits in your essences or your serum products. When it comes to serums, we definitely want concentrated, you know, type of formula. We want high percentages, potentially we want really good active ingredients. And here we have 92% of snail secretion, which is bringing a lot of those benefits to the skin. And so we have a high percentage here, of course. And we do have some emollients in here that are offering moisturization and a little tiny whisper. I have to say, it's not a very occlusive cream, but just a whisper of occlusivity with a tiny bit of dimethicone in here. So it could replace your moisturizer. You see where I'm going with this. Even if it can't replace all those products for you, it could probably replace a lot of those products for you. If you are really seeking for an all-in-one type of skincare product, don't distrust the name of this. It really truly does deliver multiple, 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 multiple benefits in one jar. So let's talk about toner slash essences. You know, this is an area where you can really save yourself some steps and some money because your toners and your essences don't necessarily have to be separated products. Some people confuse essences and toners and I don't blame them. It is confusing to figure out the differences between the two. So think about toners, like I said, hydration. 
Essences will bring some hydration and replenishment to the skin depending on the formula, but really the main benefit of essence is really to um, bring some more active ingredients in the skin, bring some more benefits. So there's all different types of ingredients that you can find in essences that are going to bring a multitude of benefits, brightening, antioxidant care, um, sometimes, you know, well aging benefits, anti-acne benefits. There's a lot out there. So again, you got to assess that for yourself and, and what you're really looking for. The Then I Met You Giving Essence is a great example of a product that can bring some toner benefits, some hydration, and some essence benefits all in one. While it's technically classified as an essence, there's some really great hydrating ingredients in here like polyglutomic acid, which is really similar to hyaluronic acid. It is a type of ingredient that attracts and binds hydration into the skin and can bring a little bit of that plumping action. But then we have good concentrations of active ingredients. 5% of niacinamide. And that's really like, I always say that's the sweet percentage spot because that is the percentage that's going to brighten your skin. It's the percentage that's going to strengthen your skin barrier and the percentage that's going to help stimulate collagen on the skin and help address your um, well aging goals and help with fine lines and wrinkles. So that is, I mean, three benefits, three major skincare benefits just there alone with the 5% of niacinamide. Now this also includes a very good amount of galactic Lactomyces ferment, which is a true classic essence ingredient. When I think K-beauty essences, I think fermented ingredients, and that's what Galactomyces ferment is. It's derived from sake, and it is such a wonderful nutrition-packed ingredient. So it's great for the health of your skin, replenishing vitamins and minerals. It has antioxidant capabilities, which uh, niacinamide does as well. So we could also consider this as a antioxidant essence and antioxidant benefits. Um, but uh, Galactomyces Galactomyces ferment, I went off on a tangent. Galactomyces ferment is also really well known for helping to brighten up the complexion. It gives that amazing lit from within glow that we are all seeking for in our skincare, right? Galactomyces can really do that so, so well. And it also can help with um, skin elasticity. It can help with fine lines. So it's another great well aging complement to the niacinamide in here. There's also red algae, which has some great very gentle skin cell shedding abilities. This isn't chemical exfoliation, but it just kind of helps keep your skin really fresh, keeps that skin cell turnover going so that your skin is just always looking its best. So, so many benefits, right? Good amount of hydration in here, a really nice formula, just the tiniest bit of plumping action with this. And truly with 5% of niacinamide, quite honestly, you could probably even replace your serum with this if you really wanted to. It could be an essence and a serum in one. It could be a toner, essence, and serum. It really just depends on your goals and what you want to achieve in your routine and how you like to balance out your skin type. But again, we're looking for hard working ingredients that bring many benefits to the skin. This ingredients list checks out. And of course, I cannot move on before I mention the beauty of Chosan Ginseng Essence Water, because this is the product that I am always recommending as a two in one, right? It brings a really good amount of watery hydration into the skin. So if you're very dehydrated and you're a little bit on the fence about uh, replacing your toner <laughs> and your essence in like one product, and you feel like you might be uh, compromising the amount of hydration that you're getting, hear me out because you know how picky I am. You know how dehydrated my skin is. I actually love using this as a toner and essence all in one. This actually saves me quite a bit of time and money because this is watery and hydrating enough. It's layerable, something I love to do with my toners, layer up on hydration. Cause you know, some days you need more, some days you need less. It's layerable, it's non-sticky. It doesn't build up thick on the skin. But we have ginseng, many multiple forms of ginseng extract in here, which is an amazing well aging ingredient. It helps with skin elasticity and firmness. It helps with the complexion. It just helps your skin work more efficiently. It is an amazing ingredient, a great complement to a well-aging routine or just 
a healthy skin routine, quite honestly. But this also contains 2% of niacinamide. Now that's the percentage. We're not gonna get the collagen stimulating benefits so much at this amount, but we are gonna get the barrier supportive. Um, it's going to help stimulate the ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids within your skin, help strengthen your skin barrier and the brightening element too. And ginseng as well has its own complexion benefits. So we are definitely getting the essence benefits, right? We're getting more benefits, but we're also getting the hydration in a nice water watery toner format. There really isn't any need unless you want to because skincare, you're in the driver's seat here. You're in control. It's what you want, but you don't need to add an essence alongside of this. You don't need to add a toner alongside of this. It is a two in one. Next up, let's talk about the all in one well aging solution for your face, eyes, neck, and chest. Now this is actually something that became really popular in K beauty. Again, we're talking about a decade or so ago, but it is slowly gaining traction in K-Beauty, and that is to use an eye cream all over your face. Now, I don't know if this is the point of origin for this story, but there was an, I, and I'm sorry, I don't remember names. There was an actress in like the mid um, 2010s, I believe, who went on a talk show. Now we're talking about a K-drama actress went on to a Korean talk show and they're like, okay, tell us about, you know, cause they always look amazing. Their skin is flawless. They don't age at all. Like, I don't know, tell, they're like, tell me your secrets, right? And so this actress, she, she shared the fact that she uses her eye cream all over her face. Because eye creams are targeted at fine lines, wrinkles, loss of elasticity, they're really meant to moisturize, plump up, and strengthen that really delicate skin. She wanted all of those benefits, definitely underneath the eyes and on top, right? But she wanted it all over her face too. And so this is kind of like that that mythological origin story where we start to see these eye face creams coming out um, from brands because they'll always take an opportunity to capitalize on trends, right? So you absolutely could buy a dedicated eye and face cream. Um, there's quite a few out there, um, definitely, but you don't really need to do that. You could use your eye cream all over your face. Um, and it's actually a really great tip for your neck and chest because we do tend to think about our skincare as just kind of ending at our chin a lot of times. Not all of us, but many of us do kind of end there. And maybe you don't want to do a lot of layers on your neck or chest because this skin is different. Like just doesn't have as many pores as your face does. And I know for, for me, I like a lot of skincare on my face, but I don't like a lot of skincare on my neck or chest because it it starts to build up really thick and then you might even get like pilling and stuff so I don't really advocate for so many layers on your neck and chest, but it's about picking the right products. And so this can be a great way to use up stuff that you have that like, it's just you wish it would empty sooner, or maybe eye creams you didn't love necessarily too much. You can actually use these on your neck and chest. They sell dedicated neck and chest creams. They're like $80 a jar and it's literally glorified eye cream. You don't need to do that. You can skip that and just use your eye cream on your neck and chest. But I promise you a face, eye, neck, and chest solution for well aging. So my product recommendation is, can you guess? The Beauty of Joseon Revive Eye Serum. This is Ginseng Plus Retinol, which is retinol to hide, not retinol spelled with an O. So this is actually a slightly more potent, more efficacious version of retinol. It's still in the retinoid family, so you can expect collagen stimulation. You can expect brightening. Um, you can expect even some um, anti-acne benefits from it as well. And so this is gentle enough. It's been formulated for the eye area, but the texture texture and the size and the quantity that you get actually is favorable for full face application. You get this really beautiful gel serum -y type of texture. This is not your traditional buttery eye cream. It could actually could act as a retinol to hide serum on your face. And again, it's a, it's a gentle um, application of retinol to hide. So you don't have to worry too much about those really like drying side effects. It's still potent. It's still effective, but it is, it's been formulated to be 
kinder to the skin. So a nice little thin layer of this all over your face is going to give you your retinoid benefit. But again, it's that really beautiful texture that is not gonna get too thick or greasy or pill up on your neck, and it's great for your chest. Next, let's talk about shortcuts to oil-based moisture. Now, as I mentioned before, I could definitely do some shortcut skincare using an all-in-one cream like from Costa X, and I'd be really happy with it. But eventually, my skin is gonna be craving a little bit more richness, a little bit more moisture. That being said though, sometimes we just don't have time to do all of those steps plus oil plus moisturizer plus makeup blah 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 right we need a shortcut and so there are um, quite a few different serum based products that are coming out that have oil components to them and again these are great alternatives you know to save yourself some steps and time but these are usually lighter alternatives to oil too which can be a really great way to get that moisture into your skin in hot and humid weather without overwhelming your skin with the thick layer of oil so one of my old like long time favorites is the i unique noni light oil serum this is super cool because they blended multiple different oils in here including like rose hip oil um, which has some really beautiful brightening benefit for the skin into this more emulsiony type of texture it brings a good amount of hydration and a good amount of moisture to the skin in a more familiar serum type format this isn't as thick um, you know what I mean it doesn't have that body like oil does and so this actually absorbs into your skin faster if shortcut skincare is about saving time it's not just about eliminating steps but it's about getting your skincare into your skin faster too, right? We need quick absorbing products. So sometimes oil can sit on top of your skin for a really long time. This absorbs like your normal serum does, but it's bringing all the benefits of multiple different oils with really good omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acid profiles. So if you like to use oil for, for omega um, fatty acids, I definitely do. It helps to fortify your skin barrier. This could be a nice, like, like I said, a lighter alternative, a quicker absorbing alternative if you don't always want that oil shine on your face you get the do you just don't get the shine do you know what i'm saying this is from versed it's the sunday morning antioxidant oil serum and what's kind of cool about this is it's actually a biphase product so you get to um mix the two layers together and it's really focused on oils that bring a lot of antioxidants into the skin they're using a couple of different oils including a really good amount of camellia oil which is also known as tea seed oil um also known as sabaki oil i really like it because it's a very moisturizing type of oil with a good amount of antioxidant protection but this um serum format is interesting because unlike i unique which is more of like i said that emulsion moisture and hydration this is like a thin watery oil um, so you don't get as much of the hydration or the plumping factor but what you get is this really watery again quickly absorbed saving time oil format um, it's really different I'm not, I don't know that I've ever tried anything quite like this but it's so light on the skin but you you still get the moisture you know this definitely is delivering more moisture I think from like an oil format moisture more than I unique is I unique is offering a little bit um, of that more balancing type of moisture if you're really craving oil I think versed is the better choice the difference between the two here a little bit more moisture a little bit more richness but in a watery format so strange <laughs> but really refreshing really quickly absorbed very light and if you really like your oil to enhance your makeup if you really like that shine um, you're definitely going to get it with the versed oil serum let's talk about sunscreens that moisturize this is a true shortcut skincare move right is to double up your moisturizer and sunscreen product all in one there's a smart way to execute this tip and there is a less smart way to execute this tip and so we're seeing a lot of products that are moisturizers that contain SPF in them so moisturizers with SPF 15 30 sometimes even SPF 50 right these are not products that I'm going to recommend because here's the thing if you are using something like that you are getting some type of protection and so you're you're on the right track but quite honestly you're not going to be getting the labeled protection because the amount of product that you have to apply for a moisturizer with sunscreen in it it's going to be like two to three times more than what you are normally going to apply to your face so 
if the whole idea is to cut down on layers and allow your skin to breathe, but then you have to put on extra layers of moisturizer just to achieve your SPF, well, you're kind of defeating the shortcut purpose, right? So I really don't recommend doing that. But like I said, if you are using it and it's working for you, it's you're on the right track. You are getting some protection. Now, I wanted to cover that. I know you guys probably already know this because quite honestly, you're educated, informed skincare consumers. But I really would suggest that you look for a sunscreen with moisturizing elements to it. And so we're going to get all the protection we need, the moisture that we need. And in order to do that, we got to look over to K-Beauty because they're creating the more elegant types of formulas that are going to feel more like skincare on your skin um, rather than like thick and greasy sunscreen. So you know what product I'm going to suggest, right? It's the Beauty of Jason Rice Plus Probiotic Sunscreen. This is such a great replacement for moisturizer and sunscreen all in one because it's offering really great protection with fantastic new generation chemical filters. And yes, it is verified. So you are going to get SPF 50 from this tube. I know some people are still a little mm, about Korean sunscreen. Not on this channel, we're not. Um, but there's been so many great um, innovations and so many great changes in the industry. I have full confidence in them. In this formula, though, all that great protection is in this beautiful, creamy, moisturizing, but not greasy formula. And so what you get is this really moisturizer-like texture that brings a good amount of emolliency into the skin. It locks in your skincare ever so gently, but it still allows your skin to breathe. There's a little bit of dew to this, but it's not an overly shiny formula like some other sunscreens that are out there. It's not near the top of the shiny list. It's somewhere kind of in the middle, but it definitely will be a great moisturizer replacement and will save you time and money and will still protect your skin as well. So, you know, this is just one recommendation out of so many out there that you could use. And it really is dependent on skin type because if you're on the drier side, this trick may not work for you. Just, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I am a little bit on the drier side. It's hard for me to use just sunscreen as a moisturizer. In the summer, I can sometimes do it, um, but not all year round. And so that's something that's really important to keep in mind when it's coming down to saving some time and some steps in your routine. You have to know, what did I say? Your goals, right? But you have to know yourself and your skin too, and what you need your skincare to do, because you have to know where to make those smart cuts, where to double up on, you know, your steps in one product, where it makes sense for you. So this step, like I said, it's going to be great for those who don't like overwhelming thick layers on their skin, but it may not be suitable for everybody, but I still think it's a really good one to consider. So now I I want to know your tips for saving time, money, or steps in your skincare routine. So let us all know in the comments below, because like I always say, we're all here to help each other out. This is a community. And I know so many of us, especially right now, are looking to save some money and definitely save some time. Now, if this video did help you out, but you have not hit subscribe yet, please hold on a second. Come join our community. It's really rare to make it to the end of a YouTube video first and foremost. So the fact that you did, I think that we have a thing going here. So come join our community. We love K-Beauty. We love skincare, gentle skincare, sensitive skincare. So definitely join, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop when I post the new videos or shorts. I love you so much. Thank you for being here today. Whether this is your first time here, um, you've been here for a few months, a few years, I am just so, so grateful for you. I love you so much. And I really, really hope you are healthy, that you are happy, that you are safe as you're watching this video. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.